after such a great start to 2023 for the price of gold we've seen a poor february and that price coming off now is this a sign of longer term weakness in the price of gold are we going to see it drop much lower or is this just a short term correction for a bounce back you know towards those highs for gold well i'm going to dig into the analysis and see where the price could be heading next so with that let's dig in let's get into the detail then and we've got some sentiment based technical analysis first down the bottom seasonality now as you can see bottom right there we've just gone through a bit of a bearish patch but it is a bumpy ride back up to the bulls there so weak bullish maybe at best there seasonality wise then to the commitment of traders data above now interesting here large commercials negative large speculators positive which is what we'd like to see if we had the price going up but we don't so that's an interesting play out at the moment so friday is the day the cot data comes out so if that doesn't fall off then you know maybe the bulls are still holding on there and looking for a reversal in fortunes and this short-term price correction and then into the longer term look at the gold price and we can see you know from 2018 it hasn't been too bad really up 78 percent nearly to those peaks and there's two of them we got one there which was august of 2020 and then exactly the same level couldn't crack it march 22 and that level just under 2100 so that really is the highs that the market's got to crack and at the moment you can see it pulling off and it's looking like it could be heading to this strong support line where we can see it's hit many times on the Fibonacci area and in this messy zone that we saw the new year run up from where is that that's just about seventeen hundred dollars just under so that could be the pullback zone and maybe that's what it needs to do to then you know consider a bounce up but as you can see volume at price over there there's a lot of a gap between where we're trading now and that big bunch of volume down there so if it does break that line we could see it slip quite quickly back to the 1450 sort of zone if you are bullish gold then the four line break chart could be for you a couple of numbers here it's all about reversals this type of chart and we've got a bullish setup at play at the moment and if you want to get in um, 18 20 if you're being pretty aggressive 18 30 a bit more conservative looking for that move reversal in price on the way up and a quick look at what's going on with the dollar because very important to um, compare when trading gold there is a strong correlation inverse correlation between the two as the dollar goes up it creates weakness in the gold price so as you can see when january was so um january february you know, early part of february was so strong in the gold price we had the weakness in the dollar now since the dollar's picking up again and we've got the indicator there telling us it's picking up the gold price has gone weak once more so always important to just check you know the you know dollar when trading the gold it's not you know 100 percent correlation effect but you know you know do bear it in mind when you're trading gold and now jumping into the Renko charts for some more specific price action and detail. On the left, longer term look at gold. Um, slightly bigger brick size, $6 used here. Takeaways, well, we can see, as we've seen in the other charts, that nice uptrend. There's that black line there. That's a 200 moving average. And we can see it's gone down below that. We've also got this purple line just here and it broke down nicely from about 1825 and i'm going to just zoom in a bit because you can see a nice double bottom pattern playing out there at the moment and what about targets in the slightly longer term we're downside i'd say 1780 um sort of 1740 sort of area in there and then below that maybe 
so it's 1700 and to the upside well if it can bounce from where it is with that double bottom it's got to get back into this 1850 to 1870 zone and then up into the sort of early 1900s but on the right is a shorter term um, gold Renko chart three dollar block size gives you a bit more action for trade signals especially if you're into your day trading it's a good block size to have again you can see from early February really after that really nice good run up price has been sort of really one way it's been slow at times through different periods blocks and then breaking down you know pushing on towards recent lows and at the moment if it breaks through that double bottom that we talked about at this sort of number then around 1800 1790 possible downsides and then 1750 if it's a bounce from here it's back to the 1830 1840 zone where there's a lot of price noise and we saw another breakdown from and then up again through a load of price action to sort of 1890s 1900s at the moment the short term signals are both mixed so pretty neutral weak bearish feel there so with all that data let's process that and put a score on gold at the moment so i'm going weak bearish overall at the moment based on what we've seen in the video so far top right now seasonality was weak bullish though very up and down then we had the dollar strength which really important to learn now that says bullish which is negative for gold and then we had the commitment of traders data giving us some funny signals at the moment we're going to wait till friday to see what the results of the latest commitment of traders data is to see if that confirms a more bearish point or whether it holds and maybe we've got more bullishness still left to come from gold now looking at the renko charts medium term weak bearish bit of a mixed bag momentum slowing down a little bit to the downside but it's that double bottom that concerns me it's either going to bounce from here or break down longer term look well after that longer up run then you know the recent month of down side price action giving me a weak bearish feel and the signals indicators also confirming that and in terms of targets one and a half and three to one to the upside and 1.75 and 3.5 to one to the downside but overall weak bearish at the moment now it's not looking too good at the moment for the price of gold we could see it slipping down towards the 1700 dollar area especially looking at the longer term charts and that strength in the us dollar that's just kicked in in the last month that hasn't helped things either a lot of variables that go into the price of gold not just speculation or technical analysis you know the fundamentals play a big key role and geopolitics as well and that could easily you know swing that price quite quickly in either direction and it's a bit of a maybe a lull before the storm there in what's going on in the world at the moment so you know pay attention there and watch that price of gold closely but at the moment from what we've seen in the video then it's looking weak bearish currently let me know what you think in the comments below like to hear your opinion where you think gold is heading next and if you've liked the technical analysis I've used in the video and want to learn more about it I put together a playlist on the channel for you and the link for that is coming up right now